Hi everybody, we're back with another video of Family Cooking Life. We have Little Chef 1. Say hi. Hi. Little Chef 2, stand up please. Come on, stand up. There you go. Look at the camera. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> what are we making today? Fish and... Fish and... Chips. Chips. With a little bit of cold yeah. stuff, right? Are you excited? Hot We're going to... Diana is going to be making the batter for the fish and chips. She's going to help me. And Theo is going to mix up the coleslaw. Okay, so I think fish and chips are probably one of my most favorite meals. I spent a lot of time in England. My sister lives there. She's a teacher. And I have eaten fish and chips everywhere. And I love yeah. making fish and chips. <laughs> so with my wife being celiac, it's really hard to find a good fish and chips Dad? that is gluten-free, if any. So that's what I'm making today. Dad? Using a nice cod <laughs> that I got from the store. And it's so happy, Dad. I'm gonna try and cut as thin as I can. Uh, so Shoestring fries, me, as shoestring as I can get them. Me going so they cook fast. We are almost done slicing these potatoes. Miss Diana here is going to help me mix them up. There you go. Okay. Ah, ba -da -ba -da -da. I'm going to soak these for just a few minutes with some salt water. Here you go. Mix them up. Did you say hi to the family cooking life? Hi, family cooking life. Well, we're family cooking life. Say hi to everybody else. Hi, everybody. There you go. Family Perfect. I love that. Cooking life. I have my oil heating up for our fish and chips. It is at 282. We want about 340, 350. We're chopping. I'm we'll teach you how. chopping with that. <laughs> yeah, I'll teach you how. So I have a little leftover cabbage from the borscht that I made the other day. So we're just going to make a small bowl of coleslaw. Oh, cool. It's coleslaw, yeah. What goes in coleslaw? Uh. You can make two different kinds. You can make a vinegar coleslaw, and I think that's what we're gonna do. A little vinegar, a little dill. We're gonna use the small grater. Take a couple of these. All right. Can I, can I see that? Okay. Our coleslaw is almost done. I have some cabbage, some grated carrot, a little bit of red onion, and some green onion. We're gonna throw a little bit of apple in there for some sweet. Gonna get some sweet apples in our coleslaw. Here, you want a bite of apple? Mm -hmm. Here, there we go. He said, do, do, do. Are you coming in? And all of our ingredients for our coleslaw done. Now, Diana, you can mix it up. Hi, Diana. And then put it into the bowl. In, okay? Into this bowl? No, no, this bowl. Dad's gonna drain the fries right now. So don't make a mess, try to go straight into the bowl. Straight into the bowl. Good job. Here, so squeeze that in there. Can I try? Squeeze it. Squeeze it. Put the juice in there. A little lemon juice. A little salt. Okay, a little pepper. Good. That's okay. Yeah. A little raw Can I sugar. Try? <laughs> a little raw sugar. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, yeah, good job. Yeah, keep going. Put it all in there. Good. A little vinegar. Thin out the mayo. Okay, now we got our vinegar. We got our mayo. Our lemon juice. Is that what salt happens? Pepper. Oh, look at the smell of that. Pizza okay. So we have our french fries in the air fryer, which we didn't show, but we'll show them when they're done. <laughs> now, Little chef number one is going to make what? Fish. We're going to make fish, yeah. But we're going to make the batter first, right? Okay. okay. So, we're going to scoop one teaspoon of paprika. Good job. Okay. Then we're going to bang that up. Can I try it on myself? <laughs> and then we're going to scoop. Can I try that by myself? Yep, yeah, a teaspoon of garlic powder. So hold the jar with your other hand. There you go. Yeah, and in. Perfect. Good. Oh, make sure you get 
sure it all goes in when you do it, okay? And then we need one teaspoon of onion powder. Get back up here. Okay, onion powder. Can I try it on myself like that? Like that? Yep. Now hold it. Get your spoon in there. Yep. There you go. And in. <laughs> there you go. Okay, perfect. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you don't like that. It's onion powder. That's a lot. Okay, so I think I might want a little more paprika just for color on the fish. Yeah. I like put my little orange zest in my batter. Pull on the side. It's your easiest batter. Grab it. Grab it. Yeah, that's it. Put it Good job. It's not dangerous? Nope, this part's easy because you just cut the orange in half like this. <laughs> and then you do one. Okay? We'll do it together. Ready? Bigger. Lemon juice. Oh. Now, since these are gluten free fish and chips, I use a little bit of almond flour. Um, I can do it by myself. Okay, pour it in. Okay, so. That was about half a cup of almond flour. We're gonna do three quarter cup of gluten free flour. Thank you. We're gonna mix that up a little bit before we get our liquid in. Okay, we need a little bit of baking powder. No, or a muffin. Get some orange bubbly. Hey, hey! And we're gonna pour about half the cannon. Bubble. Can I mix? And we're gonna mix, yeah, in a second. And then we need some water. I do that. And we got 357 degrees on our hot oil. We're going to check. I don't our, want to, to muffins. <laughs> we're going to check our french fries. Guys, okay, just going to put a little bit on the plate. This is just to get our fish. Mm -hmm. We don't need more than that. You can do the seasoning, okay? Salt in our flour. Can I put this A half teaspoon. And onion powder, glue it in the flour, garlic powder. Okay, now we're gonna take the smallest piece of fish. I want that one. We're gonna cut one in half. We're gonna take it, and they're nice and dry because I prepared them, salted nice them. Fishy. Okay, so nice what you do, yummy. you pay attention, okay? Yeah. So you put the fish into the flour, okay? Can I try fish? Mm-hmm. Okay, it's all coming together. Can't wait for fish and chips. Uh, this is a great recipe to try. Uh, I do very much similar to uh, gluten ones in the restaurant. Pretty much the same recipe, except for the almond flour. Okay, everybody, this is our tester. One little piece of fish, really crispy. The collar's there. We're gonna do the rest of the fish here, up quick. This is our flour, that's our batter. And there's our... Show the audience the crunch of this fish. Super light and fluffy. Oh yeah. That's a great fish and chips. Hey guys, back to the family cooking life, fish and chips. Now the reason these are working out just beautifully is because I spent the day drying these and curing them a little bit with the salt. Uh, my little chef helper here helped me with that today. We've got some fish and keeping it warm in the oven. Ooh, it looks amazing, steaming up. Our fries are in there. And we're almost on our last batch of fish. It all looks amazing. And we'll show you the final product. And we'll have some fun. Please subscribe and like if you, uh, if you like this video. Thanks.